to the extreme, so we'll come through this way. Anthony and Valerie Wood go all out for Halloween at their home along Shawnee Avenue in Scranton. But this is more than just decorations. This is a haunted house experience set up in their yard, put on for free. Over the past three years, they've added a little more to it each time in preparation for a one night Halloween experience that is weeks in the making. We've been going since second week of second week of September and we're still going. This setup is just one part of the carnival experience. Anthony and Valerie say they don't use animatronics, they use real people, recruiting some friends to get in on the action. The same friends keep coming year after year, and this year I think we had like an extra 15 people reach out to us like, oh, can we come help? Can we be a part of it? So it's just exciting. The extra help might come in handy, especially if there are just as many visitors to the carnival as last year. We only counted the kids, so like we'll give a ticket out at the ticket booth, one ticket to them, we'll keep a ticket just to keep count. And we only gave it to the kids and we had a thousand tickets. So that's not including like the parents that came through with them. The Woods say they don't want to reveal too much about what they have planned for this year, but do say it will be something from your worst nightmare. There's just going to be a lot, a lot of jump scares. We're going to keep the clown and the circus a little bit more PG so that little kids get to experience it and they get to look at it. But coming through here, it's going to be scary. If you think you can handle it, this one night only experience on Shawnee Avenue happens on Halloween night, rain or shine. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Scranton.